Yes, you are the scanned. <laughs> when is the scan not? <laughs> da da da. The scan he just wants to, to be sleep. useful again. He goes to sleep with his gun. <laughs> Fighting is the only thing this scan was good at. The only da, da, reason he goes da, to sleep da, with that gun. Da, 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 da. The only reason uh, he goes to sleep with that gun in hand okay, is so I have he can no kill idea what we're looking dreams. at. It's a beautiful hand drawn map. It's like some kind of like weird postmodern. Yeah, Steve's middle name was <laughs> <laughs> Uh this, I assume you guys are going to try to approach the door to uh Timo's throne, kinda you know, stealthily see what's in there. Sure. Well, I believe this Gand has some stealth, doesn't he? I got two stealths. Then why don't you give me a stealth so that we can, uh, you know, you, you can get a peek in there, maybe. That's uh, on agility, right? Yes, it is. So one green, two yellow, and what's the difficulty? Uh, two purple. Nice. All right. All right. Well, you see, lots of stuff. Thanks, GM. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to explain That's it a little GM. bit, yeah, it is. Um, to explain a little bit, the uh, brownish circles are tables. The big ones are basically blocking that square. You cannot enter them. The smaller ones are well, they're covered. Uh, to the south, there you have a bar. You have the cantina bar. Uh, along the right wall there is kind of a stage. There's uh, some dudes playing some music. And then, of course, there's Timo himself flanked by, uh, well, not really flanked, they're in front of him, but uh, Gormorian guards, which look kind of more badasser than the ones that you fought previously. So that's at the north, right, on that dais there? Like so, okay. Now, important uh, lore point here. Are are they playing jizz or jazzed? Uh, jazzed. Ugh. <laughs> well, poor yeah. this gand. All he wanted was some jizz. It's all he wants. Okay, uh, so... This Gand is relaying the information about the room's layout to his compatriots and suggesting that maybe he's going to go and jump behind the bar later. Not for any defensive purposes, just because he wants to jump behind the bar. What do you guys think? The description of the place. One sec. So you got your table. Wait, tables. this taking up bartending? Absolutely. <laughs> he was inspired by that robot. VG-222. Take up a new life. Of service to others. All right, so basically, it's kind of a huge room. I mean, shooting from one end of the uh, palace to the other is uh, an extreme room. Or, I'm sorry, an extreme range. Blah. What happened to my brain there? Uh, it's big, but there's not much light coming from anywhere. The, the Most of the light comes from what looks like a rather large, intimidating chandelier that hangs over Timo's kind of like uh, uh, raised dais. Then uh, you have a band, which apparently is named, because I guess that you can tell by some sort of name tag or something, I don't know. Uh, Smooth, Banjex, Wab, and the Scundreds. Okay. Actually, they're playing uh, Dirty Tatooine Blues. Oh, wow. With some wow. virtuoso clue, clue horn flourishes. <laughs> In that I stopped case. listening after I heard the word chandelier. I'm just glad they're exactly not playing strip do. poker. I think we're all going to end up shooting that chandelier at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to turn out to be like blaster reflective material. <laughs> just sends shots fucking everywhere. You all die. <laughs> Congratulations, dumbasses. 
<laughs> Alright, so yeah, you have uh you have what you can do, or rather you have your the layout of the enemies and such, but uh what you gonna do with that knowledge? I think we're gonna roll for initiative. Oh my. So basically you're gonna burst in guns at hand and just start shooting, right? I think so, unless anyone else has a plan. Well, yeah. clearly the thing that we have to do is all power slide through the room, guns blazing. <laughs> all right. Um. Well, uh, you can choose to be in either of those two squares on the side there. All righty. And then uh, once you're there, you can roll either cool or vigilance. They must all roll Vigilance, because I guess you're basically charging in and, you know, shooting. So, yeah, they have to uh, wow. counter your surprise. That was terrible. Terrible. One sec. Okay, one more. All right, what am I better at? Cool or Vigilance? Same in both. Cool, cool is uh, presence, vigilance is willpower. Oh, well, that answers that question then. <laughs> there you go. Nice roller. Ooh, advantages on an initiative check. That's completely useless. Yeah, tell me about it. And I get a boost die. <coughs> get a boost die on initiative? For vigilance. <laughs> wow, you all rolled terribly, except for Saria. Well, hang on, because I'm going to soak a point of strain and have an initiative of two. Alright, that works for me. I get a boost die through a certain talent. What can hell happen? Ah, oh, that's what the frickin' hell happened. There we go. Yeah, you may need to uh, re-impersonate there. Alright, now I need to roll. Oh man, a Klatuinian. Yeah, I didn't know what the hell those were. <laughs> and what are these ones called that look like they've done too much tanning? Nikto? Or the Weequay? Weequay, that's the one. Yeah, Weequay. They look like they fell asleep in a tanning booth. <laughs> <laughs> those poor bastards. They're the Melanomians. Oh. Ah. 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 Press stop is definitely the breakout <laughs> character in this game. Don't break the fourth wall. I don't know if you guys ever played it, but there's a thing in Lego Star Wars where if you go up to a pile and it ends up being like jukeboxes when you finish building it, um, if Gamorreans are in the room, they'll actually stop attacking you flip over their vibro axes and start playing air guitar on them as the jukeboxes play a metal version of the Imperial March. In Lego Star Wars? Yeah. Yeah, that room is awesome. It's the best room in the game. <laughs> I loved it. Alright, so sorry, he's got a three. One to two with two advantages. Oh. Huh. Actually, seems weird. Yeah. Huh. 
I don't think we're going to have an easy time of this one. No, probably not. This is definitely not an easy fight. Here comes signs on to the next game. Hey, where is everybody? <laughs> Who are all these five new people? What happened to Farrell's character? Oh, hit by another death ray and then petrified. <laughs> Timo suddenly t pulls off his mask and a beholder leaps out. Damn it! Steve! We'll have, uh, <laughs> we'll have Valen Braid, Brestov Bargain, <laughs> Baria Balami, <laughs> Boventel, and that gand. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever that Gan comes in, he starts an opening 70s montage. Alright, sorry this is taking so long, but uh, it's a lot of setup. I forgive you. Do you really? Do you need me to? No, not really. Then no, not really. Harsh. But fair. No, just harsh. Oh, but that's my <laughs> motto. The harshest. All right, cool. Um, with that in mind, we start combat, and you have a PC slot right up front. Who's taking it? I would like to. How many do we have? You have one PC slot, and then one enemy slot, then another PC slot, and then two enemy slots. All right, go ahead, Mike. Yeah. Go ahead, Mike. Okay. Um, am I what? Am I in close range with this Clatoonian right now? Short range, yeah. Okay. Are short and close the same thing? I, I'm asking because one of my talents depends on it. Yeah, yeah pretty, pretty much any time, time you see you close, close, it means short and short. Okay, just want to make sure. So engage would be being in the same square with them, right? Right. right. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to draw on that thug with my heavy blaster pistol. Are you going to get into cover? I'm going to do that after I shoot. I mean, okay. I guess I could good. I got. I guess I could get in the cover first. Doesn't really matter. So I'm just checking. I just don't want you to get yeah. shot up again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My wife made a delicious dinner. I'm trying to eat it quietly, but it's hard. Just tell us how awesome it is. Oh, no. Steve, what are the uh, just sit there and gloat about it? What's the what? What are the how many difficulty die do I need to roll on this? Are you shooting with both your blasters or just one? Just one. Then it's just uh, one roll and one step back since you have that heavy actuator thing on it. Yeah, the actuator what gives me a boost die or is it just more damage? Step back. Step back. Oh, okay. Step back you damage. More damage. Yeah. Okay. I your damage to be 8, I don't know what the hell that is. Yeah. Six. Actually, uh, my, I also have, since I'm using it short range, my damage gets plus 2 added to it for my talents. Well, it did look hit first. If it hits, yes. Which, I think so. Which it did. Which it did. Nice. Alright, so All right, the extra so success is actually had uh, uh, one, damage. 1 damage. Oh god. I know, it's a horrible backup. And then, Sorry. I guess uh, point blank adds two, so that'd be uh, eleven damage. And it was so three, so that knocks it back down to eight. Um, but you do kill the Katoinian. Yeah, Galen just pops him in the head and goes back into cover. First blood. So you just take a strain to take an extra maneuver. <laughs> I don't think he left cover. He didn't do a maneuver in the first place. But he drew his gun. 
I think we had I our guns we, we, drew, we drew our guns before we entered combat. Ugh, why do I even have this ability? <laughs> <laughs> it's when we get ambushed, like we did that time on the road. But anyway, uh, I guess it ends your turn, Galen? Yes. Hmm. Well, since you pop a Klaatuini in the head, he just kind of falls over, absolutely dead. <laughs> hey, that run. Uh, Timo all of a sudden, you know, bellows and uh, really seems quite pissed off that you're in his throne room and killing his dudes. He's not pleased once one a little bit. So he starts directing his guys, and well, the Gamorians go first, essentially. They squeal and pick up their Vibraxes and launch themselves uh, kind of alarmingly close to Galen, but not close enough. They have to convert their action to another move. So, yep, they're close, but not quite that close. Uh-oh. But they're incoming. So, another, uh, another PC slot, and then two enemy slots. I would like to take an action. Do it. Go Take for it. your action. Fuck them up. Okay. Um, first off, I'm just going to... Can I shoot past this table? Or does it block my yeah. shooting? You can shoot. Yeah. Okay. You just can't I, move past it. Yeah. I'm going to take cover behind this table. Okay. And uh, from there, I am going to shoot at Gamorrean Elite 1, the one that's closing on us. Okay. Is that going to be one or two dice for me? Purple dice. Two dice. Alrighty. And I'll get a boost because of the quick draw. Uh, he reacted though. Damn it. Oh well. <laughs> um, I should probably take advantage of my quick draw then and attack somebody else. So I'll go after the Nikto thug because... He looks the most like a human, next to the actual human. <laughs> and that's going to be also two purple die, I think, because that's long range and I've got the scope. It's still medium range, so yes. Oh, that's medium. Shows how much attention I'm paying to myself. <laughs> but yes, uh, yeah, go ahead and uh, roll them two purple die. Bam. All right, well, I guess first off we should see if he's survived that. Uh, probably not. <laughs> uh, let's see, so you do 9 damage and then 11 damage, so another 8 damage. Well, no, he doesn't survive it. Okay. Now, what to do with that triumph? Um... Well, there's not much more I can do to him. Because, you know, he's it dead. really isn't. Um, I'm trying to remember what I can do with a triumph that's not on a perception roll. I can... Uh, I could disorient him, but he's dead. So that's useless. Guys, what are the... You can upgrade any allied character's next check. Oh, like upgrade the actual check instead of just a boost die. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Well, uh, let's do that. The scanned will shout encouraging words. That probably involves something horrifically bloody. Absolutely. Wonderful. The scan is just telling them about how Gamorians are a delicacy on Gand, and uh, the best part is the eye stalks which is the part of the <laughs> eye that attaches back to the brain. And seeing as Gamorrean brains are not highly developed, but they do have pretty decent vision, the eye stalks are quite succulent indeed. Wonderful. <laughs> wow. <laughs> You've got Prestop's hand. <laughs> Tell me Prestop's more. hand is slowly reaching into his pants. No! For his gun, I'm sure. Yes. Of course. <laughs> you act like it wasn't already there. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so is that your turn? Yes, sir. Alright. 
two piece uh, enemy slots rather. Um, the Gam other Gamorian will go. I guess uh, he takes offense to the shouting and moves up. Then I guess I better go for these thugs before they get completely wiped out. Uh, that one will move up and he'll start shooting his pea shooter at. Uh, actually. They don't have their weapons drawn, so they Killing. have to pull one. Oh no! <laughs> We're being shot. So in that case, uh, he's in fact going to. They're going to draw their weapons and then kind of take cover behind the table here, or like crouch around it. And with that, we have two PC slots and then an enemy slot. Well, I'll take one. Okay. So, since Prestov already has his whatever weapon I've got drawn, pretty sure it's Carbine. Yeah. He's going to do the sensible thing and try to shoot that nearest Gamoran before it cuts Galen in half. Probably a wise idea. Yeah, that'd be you bad. got your back, buddy. Because you're my bodyguard slash land servant. <laughs> <laughs> the backstory we all I'm his, I'm his Ubu. <laughs> When Prestov dies, I have to dump him in the Lazarus pit. <laughs> You're crossing the streams. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's see, let's see. It's a good thing I raised my ranged ability. Indeed. So good that I'm going to go ahead and... Use a dark side point to upgrade your check. <gasps> Whore? <laughs> <laughs> So it's short range, so basically it'd be one purple die normally, but now it's one red die instead. Okay. And then whatever your normal check is. Well, I got three agility and two whatchamacallit, so is that a two-one? One green, two yellow, one red. And do all my accuracy mods make any difference here? Do you have an accuracy mod? I have like eight. What? No. That seems like more accuracy yeah. mods than you'd need. I got the four grip. The four grip doesn't do anything other than if you have like engaged with someone. All right. Hmm. But I think well, I've got accuracy, accuracy plus one in it, and I've got a weapon quality accurate in a foregrip. That's weird. Uh, I don't know, but I know that accurate adds boost die per rank in it, so I'm pretty sure that just means you just get one boost die. I will take it. Okay. Nice. Well done. Indeed, well done. I aimed for his snout. <laughs> oh, terrible. Did you use that triumph I passed on? Or is that still out there for grabs? I did actually, not. Actually, it would have been his, um, his check, so it would have upgraded the green into a yellow. Should I roll again? If you, well... I would assume you just want to re uh, change the green out for yellow, so just roll one yellow. But that's where his success was. That's where his success was. We're sticking with my original roll. <laughs> <laughs> Still angry, Restar <laughs> refuses to be bolstered by that stirring speech. Okay, I'll let it be used on the next check. Uh, I gotta pass mine on anyway, right? Well, well you, you might need do... to do a, a critical or something. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, it only takes five damage, so it's actually not dead yet. That's critical. Crit, 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 crit. crit. It's a good thing press out for the crit. It's super effective. Okay, roll a uh, 1d100. You say that like I remember how to do this. Slash roll Slash... 1d100. Yes, that. Oh my. 
It's a lucky number, right? Uh, sure. It's a sudden jolt, which means that he drops his uh, Viper Axe. Uh -huh. That's it. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. All right. It'll give us the chance to not die as quickly. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, there's a critical. And uh, what are you doing with your maneuver? Smug. Uh, kind of. Can all of us fit behind that table? <laughs> <laughs> sure. Yeah. Go I, I don't know if it would be a good idea for me to try to get to that other table with the unarmed man. Yeah, Plus, you I don't think I can. Come hide under this table with us. So, role play wise, no, not really. It's gonna say that he like kicks Galen in the back, <laughs> <laughs> kicks him at the Gamoran. Good, Good luck. <laughs> well, um, moving down is your maneuver, so you're not actually behind cover yet, unless you spend too strain to do so. I'm a man. I'll just stand there. Okay. <laughs> All right, then. Uh, that'll end that turn. So I guess uh, there's another PC slot. Who's taking it? Uh, they're Tovana, sorry. Silence well. falls. Then I guess I I'll guess take I'll it. go, then. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Oh! 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 <laughs> uh, how far is that injured Gorian from where I am? It is medium range. So that would be, what, two? Yes. Man, we're all nicely bunched up, and then some asshole's gonna throw a grenade at us. <laughs> <laughs> Better kill them all before they get close enough. Um. All right, so I'm gonna use my maneuver to take cover. Okay. And then I'm gonna shoot at Gamorian Elite One from where I am. Alrighty. <clears throat> So that means I have two difficulty dice and one setback die. Might as well use another dark side point. Son of a bitch. <laughs> so one difficulty die and one challenge die. Don't right. forget the triumph. Yes, you do upgrade one of your abilities. You, you're either, you upgrade the ability once, so... Okay, but I'm already at max. If you have three yellow, then you just add a green. Alright. That's cool. Okay. Nice. Dun dun dun. You success. So I shoot him, but threaten. Oh fuck! The threat means I uh, take a strain out of ammo. No, just take a strain. That's a despair. Okay. All right. Okay. Not quite that bad yet. Not quite that bad yet. All right. So I shoot him. Now my gun has Pierce two on it. So um, I ignore two of his soak. Well, you kill him then. Hooray! Yay! One day my melee guys will be at all threatening. <laughs> There's still one more. <laughs> it's not going to get anywhere close. And then I'm done. <laughs> okay. Someday your melee guy will be a Jedi. D yes, that's true. And then we're all just going to die. <laughs> Alright, so there's an enemy slot now. Uh, Timo's at the end. He doesn't want to go to shed. But, uh, so that means... Hey! It's going to be the Aqualish, isn't it? <laughs> Aqualish. It's going to run up with a weird testicle face. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a... He doesn't even attack. He just kind of shoves it on you. It's like, oh, God, no. Oh, oh. He's just going to rub it on your face. Oh, horrible. I've got herpes. <laughs> <laughs> Horrible. <laughs> but no, um, in fact, uh, that is a minion group, which means they all act as one. But it's going to be this guy. What guy? guy? That, that guy. guy. Who's that guy? No! Kubaz! Uh, Kubaz. The Kubaz was apparently hiding, and, well, he spotted you guys a mile away. 
I should have if only somebody had made a really good perception check and spotted no. Kubaz. <laughs> if only we had somebody that could like perceive things. Look, I perceived the hell out of that other room. <laughs> <laughs> but you didn't perceive the hell out of this room. We were kind of busy kicking in the door with guns. <laughs> Wait, we were kicking the doors in with the guns. Besides, I yes. did the whole. I did a stealth check. We did the whole thing in here. He's he's invisible. Okay. <laughs> He's straight up invisible. He has an invisible suit. That's possible, but um, yeah. Someone mentioned something about a grenade. Oh no! He moves up, and uh -huh. yeah. In fact, he tosses one. No, he doesn't. Uh huh. Uh huh. No. No, he doesn't no? toss a grenade. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. So it's a ranged light check. Like I need a. <laughs> I use my immediate interrupt action. <laughs> no. This is the fourth edition. Damn. Well, hang on. Can we use a light side point to upgrade his check? Yes, you can. Ah. I vote we do that. That would be a really good idea. Motion carries. All right. I hate Kubaz. <laughs> Do we highlight the thing and then do a light side point? Yes, you should do. Huzzah! Huzzah! All right. I'm going to say your cover kind of collectively applies, not in the sense that you know he gets a multiple setback, but in the sense that it applies at all. Since you know he's lobbing it over, so but you're still all crouched, so I will apply it and be merciful. Uh, there, there, there. I think that's all. So yeah. Oof. No. Oosh. No, but hang on. But hang on. He didn't have enough uh, advantage to actually uh, trigger the blast, so I needed to actually declare a target. <laughs> yeah, you, you were supposed to grenade someone in particular. Well, he... And it's obvious yeah. who his racial foe is. Yes, it is It is uh, his racial it's foe. It's obviously going to be me. <laughs> uh, so frag grenades do... I believe, 8 damage. <laughs> you should have said it's going to be gears. <laughs> <laughs> That way the grenade goes out the door. <laughs> so I've got I've got four soak, so I'm taking You take four wounds. Four wounds. Yep. All right. Thanks and thanks then... guys for protecting me. <laughs> You're the uh, one that went for cover behind a table. Uh, we all went what? for cover behind a table. If and if I hadn't <laughs> used that light side point, then he might have gotten to actually blow us all up. That's true. Yeah, see, he's looking out for us. It's teamwork. Clearly. Yeah. Alright, PC slot, that means Saria? Yes! Someone kill that friggin' Kubaz. <laughs> uh, I can kill the Kubaz if you'd like me to. Kill the Kubaz. Well, it sounds like the people want me to kill the Kubaz. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, dice roller. I'll upgrade the difficulty. Ooh, so what's my difficulty now? Uh, it changes the purple die to a red die. So one challenge die? Yes. Okay, Preston. <laughs> I have nothing I can do to boost this, too. Uh huh. Wow. I don't yeah, think that you needed to. Okay. Shit. <laughs> I, th I think you're okay. Well, so that's sorry, uh, gives zero shits. <laughs> really, was that a one difficulty shot? Well, it's short range. Oh wow! Oh, yes. I should have stayed home. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so it's eleven damage compared to his four soaks, so that knocks it down to seven damage. It doesn't kill him, but there's still but a triumph. A triumph. <laughs> But the triumph, however. You just mask off. Triumph, the insult comment shot. <laughs> there we go. Is this, For me to shoot on. is this the same Kubaz? Yes, it is. That bastard. This Gant will never trust the Kubaz again. <laughs> but, but with the triumph, I just, like, shoot his head right off, right? Well, you have to roll a 1d100. Ooh. Roll high. <laughs> I will roll. Roll so hot that's not high. Sorry. Damn. 
you hit him so hard in the freaking kneecap that he falls prone. <laughs> Ouch. So he's nice prone job. and unconscious. He's still conscious. Oh. Well, if I did seven damage to him. He's not dead. He's not dead. Uh... Oh, yeah, he also Trixie. takes one strain, but he's a henchman, so he can't actually take strain. So he just takes another wound. All right, so there's that. And now there's a enemy slot left over. Guess who's going now? Nemo? Is it Team Nemo? Uh oh. Nemo the Hut? Oh shit! Slytherin! <laughs> How is he? He's got all the guns, we're fucked! What's he even gonna do? He's a hut. He's gonna like. Well, don't don't like say that. <laughs> yeah. He's gonna open his mouth and a laser's gonna shoot out of it at Tovan. Actually, Actually he, he has, has a hut specific, uh, hut made large bore blaster pistol that he now levels at Galen's face. <laughs> Aww. Aww. Fortunately, he isn't that great at doing such things, but um, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> so, Galen's behind cover, right? Yes. He's using the band as cover. <laughs> <laughs> They've long since uh, run, run the hell away. <laughs> well, they were a cover band. <laughs> oh, ho oh. oh. <laughs> This Ooh. game is not going to be happy with me in a second. Hole in one. Wow. Hey. Uh, three threat, that's pretty intense. So, so Galen now needs two eye patches. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow. Oh, the threat hurts the, the user. It does, The but the blaster pistol does ten damage. His soak is four, so uh, you take six wounds. Ah, oh, Jesus! He only needs one success to hit me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, thought you had to get, I thought you had to get two. It seems like I only ever hit with two. All right. No. I only need what? One. <laughs> Every success past the first stage is damage up. Oh, I thought it was. Uh... How do you get two successes to even hit? That'd be ridiculous. I'd never hit anything. <laughs> All right, but uh, it's fat corpus bulk kind of makes it fall prone as it takes a shot. <laughs> That's what you get for being falls over. You slug. <laughs> it it kind of Timo lunged and well, he made an impressive show of shooting, you know, uh, Galen. But uh, you know, the, the the hut's not not so agile, so he just falls over. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. All right. <laughs> Back to the top of the round. Um, we got a PC slot and then an enemy slot. Who's going? Uh, I I'll kind of feel like this Gan should go and have his uh, ultimate showdown of ultimate destiny. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. <laughs> sure. We're back Since at the top, Kubaz right? in our grill. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to murder that Kubaz. Or at go least I'm going to try. Uh, so I'm going to take an action to aim from this table here. I will take no action to dark side point. <laughs> Good luck, though, because I have quick draw, too. You do. All right, so what's the difficulty on this? One? One red. A one red, okay. I was going to say setback, but one, okay. God damn it. Wow. Well. This is all your fault. Saria. <laughs> Look. I just used you as a balancing stand. You, you stepped st on him. You stepped on my ammo belt. <laughs> <laughs> Which, speaking of, your gun immediately runs out of ammo. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, well, I guess you're just going to have to reload, buggy buggy whiner pants. You know that takes an action. <laughs> well, do you want a complaint or do you want an action? As my advantages are useless at this point. Uh, no, you can do something with them. I'm sure. <laughs> you can reload with them. I don't think you can do that. Is reload an action or maneuver? Maneuver. 
Well, I already did one maneuver, so I'd have to take strain to do another, and I don't want to do that. Uh, you know, with the three advantages... I can't believe you got a blank on both those boost dice. That's horrible. Yeah, that's BS. Get anyway, screwed. I'll, I'll probably just have to pass that on, because I don't think anything I can do with them would be useful to me at the moment. Unless So the despair wait. negated the success? Yes, it, it counts as a failure. Yeah. Uh, only one success rolled there. All those dice. All those dice. Negated by one red. Alright, um... <laughs> well, I overcame a red, why couldn't you? Because someone stepped on my ammo belt. <laughs> and he's red, green, green color blood. Yeah, remember? <laughs> okay, well, uh, three advantages. I can't. TV. I can't disadvantage the tweak with the three advantages in any way. Mm, seems not. No. All right, I'll just pass those on then, because I can't do anything else with them. All right. Well, essentially, how you how you do it is uh, you can spend one advantage to give the next person, like the very next person, uh, boost die. Then you can spend two to give it to anyone. Or you could spend one to give it to to pass that at boost die along, and then spend two to recover some of that sweet sweet strain you've got. Oh yeah, that too. Oh, that's good. I'll spend one to pass it on to the next guy, and then spend two to recover. What is it? One strain. It's one strain per advantage, so two strain in this case. Alrighty. Sounds good to me. Take All right. That, so weak. Uh, that means that this is a uh, enemy turn now. And what the hell? Let's continue the battle of ultimate destiny by having uh, Thweek go first. I'm spending a light side point. Okay. <laughs> Where's Thweek's stats? There he is. He pulls forth a blaster pistol and tries to shoot the scan. Emphasis, hopefully, on tries. Well, I'm in cover, but I don't know if it's still helpful because there was a grenade that blew up. No, you're fine. I took my foot off of you. <laughs> oh. Brutal. Ha ha ha. That even though they're standing like feet apart, their rage for each other is just such that they just cannot hit each other. It's Star Wars aiming. <laughs> <laughs> You Don't guys worry. just need to close in to engage and make this like a fight from They Live. I know exactly what happened here. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, he passes on a boost die to whoever goes next. And with that, there's another PC slot and then two enemy slots. I'll take the PC slot. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, what's the range on that Gamorian Elite for me? Medium range. Okay, if I step into the next square, will it still be medium? Yes. Yes. Okay. So, I'll take an action to aim, and I'll target the Gamorian Elite with both guns. Okay. Just so you remember, that increases the difficulty by one. Right. Okay. Okay. So, how, what does M, what does aim do for me? Sorry, I don't. It even gives know. you a, it gives you a uh, boost die. Boost die. Okay. So, is that two difficulty die and one setback die? That's actually three different. Uh, three, three. Okay, yeah, because because of, of the distance. Gotcha. Wow. Uh, you do shoot him, but you only with your one gun, so uh, that will do. Medium range point, point blank point doesn't even apply, right? Right, right. So that takes two. That so yeah, the point the point uh, blank damage does not apply, but the actuator damage does. 
All right, so that's four damage you deal to him. Okay. However, the However, threats the mean that uh, he kind of uh, saunters, saunters forward. forward. And echo, 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 echo. echo, echo. Oh, sorry, I was holding control down. <laughs> But yes, the two threat uh, gives him a free maneuver, and he'll take it to close the distance. Okay, um, I'll take two strain to go back into cover. Uh, okay. You never left it, though. Oh, okay, I'm still in cover? Oh, never yeah. mind then. Okay, instead, uh, Galen will just implore somebody to fucking shoot that, ga that Gamorian before it gets to him. Excellent. All right, two enemy slots now. The Gamorian will go. Well, shit, never mind. <laughs> Don't worry, he's not going to be able to attack. He has to maneuver once and then use his action to maneuver again, but he is engaged. 